The government's made another pre-budget announcement today, this time around the prevention of sexual and family violence. $114 million will be spent over the next four years across the sector. $38 million will go towards supporting and expanding community-led responses. And $37.5 million is for prevention services. The money will also be poured into support services for victims and perpetrators. With more, here's political reporter Imogen Wells. Marama Davidson's proud of her family and sexual violence prevention mahi. Today announcing another $114.5 million for the government's strategy to eliminate the problem completely. The majority of the DOSH going to community-led responses and prevention services. Today's budget announcements builds on everyone being able to give the right support, everyone being able to receive the right support. It's a lot of money that could support quite a lot of people really um, in New Aotearoa, New Zealand. And while no one argues against a spend up in this space, the opposition wants to know if it's value for money. So we do need to make sure that the programmes the government is funding actually work. Because our stats are still dire. Over the last four budgets, the government's invested $791.9 million, but police say between 2020 and 2021 there were 155,300 reports of family harm. And over the last five years, family harm events have increased 60%. They're even predicting them to increase a further 35% by 2025. Are you safer today than you were four years ago? I'm not sure the answer is yes yet. We have absolutely fallen short too often in the past. It's a range of complex factors that all need to be addressed together. Complex issues like the cost of living, ongoing COVID impacts and for some, simply raising a child, which advocates say leads a lot of whānau through their doors. Asking for help and assistance around resourcing um, and also how do they cope or deal with the tamariki that they're currently facing some struggle with. And while prevention is key to stopping the cycle, supporting victims is also where we're failing. Many survivors of sexual harm say the ACC process for accessing financial or mental health assistance is re-traumatising, leading to some simply giving up on getting help. We do not pretend that the system um, has not caused further harm. And we are very, very clear that is unacceptable. The minister hoping her multi-million dollar spend today will turn around New Zealand's unacceptable number of victims. Imogen Wells, News Hub.